Hello, in this video, we're going to look at how to take derivatives of implicit functions. Implicit functions, we have both variables on the same side of the equation. Here are some examples, and you'll notice that y is not expressed explicitly as a function of x. So, some examples of implicit functions. To find the derivative of y with respect to x, it is sometimes easy to solve the equation for y and then take the derivative. So let's take this first example of this implicit function up here, and let's solve it for y. So I'm going to divide through by 2 and move some things around. And now if we take the derivative of this, we're going to get minus 7. The implicit function rule tells us that the derivative of implicit function is going to be given by minus the derivative of that function with respect to x divided by the derivative of that function with respect to y. So let's use our first example again. So we'll take the derivative of this with respect to x, and that's just going to be 14. And the derivative of this with respect to y is just going to be 2. And so putting together our equation here, minus the derivative of the implicit function with respect to x is minus 14. The derivative of the implicit function with respect to y is 2. And we get an answer here of minus 7. Example 2, taking the derivative of this function with respect to x, we get 2. Taking the derivative of this function with respect to y, we get 2y plus 1. Implicit function rule, I'm going to get minus 2 divided by 2y plus 1. You'll notice that the derivative of x with respect to y is just going to be the reciprocal of this, so we could rewrite it this way. Example 3, another implicit function. So taking the derivative here uh, with respect to x first, we get back 5 plus 2x. Taking the derivative of this with respect to y, so taking the derivative of this 2y to the 1 half, the 1 half comes down in front, so 1 half times 2 is just 1, and then we subtract 1 from that exponent, so 1 half minus 1 leaves us minus 1 half in the exponent here. Following the implicit function rule, I'm going to get the following. We can move this, min this y to the minus 1 half up into the numerator following the rules of exponents. And you'll notice that the derivative of x with respect to y, just a reciprocal of that answer. And finally, example four. Uh, this time we have uh, three variables here on the right-hand side, variable x, y, and z. So we can take the derivative or partial derivative of this for th first with respect to x. We get back this result here. Then we can take the, in this case, partial derivative of the right-hand side with respect to a y, variable y, and we get back this result right here. And we could also take the partial derivative of the right-hand side with respect to z, and we get back 3x squared plus 7xy, and we can form our derivatives here, the derivative of y with respect to x. You're going to get this result the derivative of y with respect to z going to look like this. Uh, we could also get the derivative of x with respect to y and the derivative of x with respect to z as well. All right, I uh, will stop here.